Uh, welcome to the uh, July meeting of the Black Review Board. Uh, we've got our agenda in front of us here. The first thing we want to do is approve the uh, minutes from the February 12th meeting, which everyone has. Any comments or changes? Can I have a move to accept? So moved. Michael. And second? Second. David? Okay. Okay. All in favor? Uh, aye. Aye. Uh, welcome back. Uh, we were just discussing with Bob. He has not been able to carry out any duties until, what, two weeks ago? That's when you were uh, yeah. allowed um, back? We were actually allowed back on a part-time basis uh, before that, like two weeks before that. Okay. So, uh, as long as we were, we staggered our schedules. So I've, I've been out to all the properties. Okay. And just an administrative note to everybody, uh, Holly Haas is having to resign uh, from this commission because she and her husband now live in Norwalk. So she can't be on the human resources, which I'm sure is a blow there for you guys, Allie. But I assume that uh, they will be getting a replacement for her at some point. Yes. Okay. okay. Uh, let's turn it over to Bob and let's go through an update. Okay. Uh, you take a look at the, the white sheet that I've given you. Uh, and go down to case number 16-001. That's the number one. At last meeting in, in um, Mar or it's February, um, they were going to, uh, the uh, attorneys of town, attorneys were going to look at uh, serving the uh, an actual violation notice to the owner on that. Nothing has changed there whatsoever. Uh, so I would just request that I can I'm going to request that a uh, an official blight violation notice be generated and however the attorneys feel they want to serve it, but I think it's time that we can Forward. Is that the one we were trying to find out who the owner was? That we ha we have the owner. We know who the owner is, but they have, do not answer telephones, and we really don't know where he's staying. Okay. Um, in any event, uh, their mailbox is never full of anything, so somebody might be picking up the mail there, uh, but strategically not picking up certified mail. Yeah. Well, so I would just ask that that be considered. Do we? Do you need a uh, motion from us? I need direction from you. Yeah, if you want to vote on it as to whether well, you'll yeah, proceed for I, me to. I think we're ready to do it. Produce the notice. Yeah. And then uh, how you determine you want it served if you want it sent regular certified. I believe that the attorneys recommended that it be served. Yes. Um, well, in, in this case, you mentioned that uh, they were strategically not picking up certified mail. Right. So it seems to me the only way that we're going to be sure that they get it is to have it served in person. Yes, uh, but I, I believe as of, uh, is in one of the, the past actions, they said they can serve it to the property. Oh, that's, that's right. Just, uh, yeah. just attach they it to the front door. They can attach it to the front door, it. and it's technically, it's served. Yeah. We've okay. done that in the past, so. All right. Yeah, so, I, yeah, like, uh, but still, still a uh, need to serve it. Right? Well, uh, I, I, move, I move that we um, go forward with a blight violation notice to give mm -hmm. uh, uh, Bob authority to interact with the legal department okay. and uh, move that forward mm -hmm. on case 16-001. Yes. Okay. Second. All in favor? Aye. Uh, Aye. Okay. Uh, and we favor service by a vote, a vote service. That's a legal term. Yes, that's, that's what they're going to end up doing. Yeah. If, mm -hmm. Unless for some reason they're able to do otherwise. Okay. Okay, okay. good. Uh, next one, case 17-001. Uh, Again, another one that's been a long time uh, standing. Uh, he has made no changes to the front of the property when we had spoken to him. 
I did inspections in March before we left. I did it again as soon as I got back in the beginning of June. Nothing changed. I was there again today. There's been no changes whatsoever. If I remember correctly, after the last meeting, or maybe it was right after our visit, I did email him asking, you know, about providing them, him with a dumpster, and yes. I never heard back. Yeah, because he had agreed that spring. yes, but in the spring <laughs> they would participate in the cleanup, and they've done nothing. No. So. Right. Now we're in summer. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, that being said, and again, I know that we have to handle these things officially. That I, I would request that again, unofficial blight violations notice be issued okay. for that property. So moved. Second. Second. All in favor. Aye. 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 Okay. You're batting a thousand. <laughs> Sometimes we just have to. Okay. Uh, that one, do you plan in public service or you want to leave it to council? I'll ask them. Uh, he, he's there, so. He's there, so yeah, exactly. And I don't think he leaves much anymore. Both of his cars are. I haven't so, had yeah. contact since we just okay. Exactly. Okay. Um, those are the, like a positive note, the one that's been there for a long time, 17-019. Uh, there have been a number of recent even complaints about it. However, I was there today and it really looks like she's making a good attempt at organizing and needing, needing okay. the front of the property. And so I, I'm just going to, you know, look, she's working on it. That's good. I'm just going to I'll probably send her a quick letter thanking her for her, her progress and encouraging her to, to keep going. And, and she confirmed uh, that she received the 226 letter? Yes. Great. Yes. Okay. Yeah. okay um, favorite item. Favorite item 18-004. Uh, visual check again today. Uh, the, the property looks neater, but everything is still there. The, the uh, storage containers, the boats. Now there's like a whole bunch of chopped wood. However, the wood is neatly stacked right in the middle of the, but it's a huge, it's like probably from here to that back wall, a huge stack of firewood. Uh, and it looks neater. However, all of the items are still on the property. They're just, you know, lined up. So, Do we know if he, he, he claimed that he, or stated that he had gotten uh, approval from planning and zoning? Yeah, no, he has not, uh, the last I had heard was he had put in an application at planning and zoning and was partially approved and partially rejected. So there was no, because partial it was rejected, there was no permit or no understanding about what was going on there. Completely. No building permit had been pulled. Still, okay. still nothing there. And that was, again, that was a year and a half ago, two well, years ago. He was quoting in the newspaper yeah. saying that he had said that, but no, he does not have it. Okay. I can assure you nothing has come to the board, and whatever may have happened administratively. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, next up, 18-005. Um, do we know for the 18, I'm sorry, okay. the, for the 18004, do we know uh, uh, we filed the land on that property? Uh, I know we, you had voted to do so, but I don't know the status. Yeah. Oh. Remember that? Yeah. You haven't got an update on that? Yeah. No. And it might be something you might want to I'll, consider. I'll talk to, I'll talk to yeah. Fox. Updating. The courts have really been closed for such matters. Yeah, the Honestly, problem they may not have been able to. Yeah, yeah that's the problem. It's yeah, good. well, that's fine. When when they get around to filing, it, they'll have the updated. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. The, the updated accrued amount. Mm -hmm. right. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. Case uh, eighteen dash zero zero five. Uh, if you take a look at that address, that is the one that is. At this point, so severely overgrown that you really cannot see it from the road. It just looks like a, he is being a little bit, um, whether he's doing it on purpose, uh, obstinate. I just got a letter back from him because I had sent him another letter uh, in June. In June uh, and I cited the violations and actually gave him the solutions. And he sent me a letter back stating, all I got was a list of the violations and nobody told, was telling me what to do. And in that last letter, it says exactly what to do. So.
so I'm going to write them again tomorrow. But again, that would be one because it has been so long sitting on the on the books that you know. Uh, just to, I'm going to make a request if you feel to send out an official notice to uh, to him as well for that property. You want that approval tonight, or do you want to wait until you? Well, it's, it's up to you. It, it is up to you. He's he has been notified since uh, and been in contact since January, so it's been six months. He said that he told me in his letter that he did clear all the vines that were intruding upon the house. However, it's you know akin to taking a spot of paint off of your hand. When you, I I don't know. I can't verify. Well, I, but given the fact that in June you sent him, you know, we've had a lot of correspondence yes. with him to begin with, and then yes. in June you updated, mm -hmm. and and that's the letter that he responded back that did. Yes. Had no guidance in it. Right, and there was guidance for everything. It's yeah. like 28 yeah. months from the first yeah. yeah. So I would leave it up to you in terms of whether I, you want to wait a month or whatever. It's, I, uh, I don't know. Why, why wait? Yeah. These things just keep going on. They don't take action. Right. Exactly. So at this point, you know, I, I just feel it's better for the board and the integrity of the board and for mm -hmm. the town that. It's also about consistency. Yeah. I mean, that's what that's, that's really my point. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So can I have a motion to issue a formal blight warning letter? So moved. I'll second. Can I second? I don't know that you should. Oh, David, can we second that motion? What were you going to say, George? I, I don't think the chairman should second the motion. Yeah, I can second it. Okay. All uh, in favor? Aye. 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 I was just going to say that I happened to be involved in the sale of the neighboring house there, 140, I think it's 140 something, but it's right next door. Oh, the green little yeah. uh, ranch that's Yeah. There. Yes. Uh, I'll okay. be surprised if you don't hear from them at some point, but I was, when I visited that house, I was shocked to turn to the left and, oh my God, there's a house there. Exactly. How did they sell it? Exactly. <laughs> Yeah, well, exactly. Apparently well, this is one of those where usually the winter, the summertime brings the growth and the complaints. This one, with the summertime, nobody can see the house. Can't see it. Yeah. It's just. I did notice a fairly operative-looking motorcycle in the back. Of you. Oh, really? Somebody must be there. Well, there's boat trailers and boats yeah. in the back of the property wow. that he claims are in. He claimed in one of his letters that they're in perfect working order. And I okay. said, "Oh, really?" <laughs> How do you get them off your <laughs> you say? I'm thinking to myself, well, no, yeah. but okay, that would be, you know, and have, as we progress from there. Yeah. Uh, okay. Did we move on? Was that all yeah. completed? Okay. Yes. All right, good. Uh, and lastly, that I have case 20-001. Um, this is uh, a case that a uh, complaint was brought late last year. The property is vacant. Uh, there was construction or demolition done on the back of the property, so the back of the house is uh, is off. And I do have a picture if you want to. I have others, but they, they got washed out basically. Oh, yeah. The back of the house has been removed, and there was another one here really that shows that the basement is had been dug out and is open and there were complaints about feral cats and did everything we, in the did property. Did you ever get a response back from him? Because we sent him a warning. Yes, we did. No response back. Okay. No response back whatsoever. Um, and um, the property in the back is overgrown. It, it, the, the neighbor was very helpful in that she contacted me, the one first woman that lives next door, and she said, you come on my property anytime to take pictures of this. I bet. So they've been living with this for three Please. years now. I <laughs> guess the building, the, the building permit had expired three years ago, and it is it is sitting here now vacant. And uh, um, again, it's the back of the house from the front. It's a little overgrown, but not bad. But for the sake of the fact that, that you do have entry points into the house and it really could be some sort of infestation. I can't, I couldn't imagine it not being so. Um, Where does, and, the, does the owner live here in Darien? Uh, Stanford, I believe. Oh, okay. Yes. Uh, I have the, yeah, I have the owner's address. Oh, that's fine. I just. Yeah. 
actually Camp Avenue in Stanford. Oh. Yeah, in the <laughs> no, in the apartments <laughs> that are up by uh, <laughs> the skating rink over there. Oh, okay. Um, the other side of the, of yeah, of the correct. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Um, Which in the west is that? This, uh, the so, what, what's your recommendation? No, it's near the um, train station. Yeah. Yeah. This one, I, again, I would like you to consider uh, a um, violation. Notice. A violation notice for this. Uh, what, was, so, what would the reason be? Hey, I'm going to move that question here. What would the reason be not to send a notice? Uh, if you, uh, I'll from my yeah. just my mm -hmm. opinion only. Um, maybe a lot of it had to do with how we we were personally how we were treating the others if we were and we're doing it now so that's I'm not expressing myself well it, yeah okay. exactly so it was like you know but if this were in and of itself and this were the only case I would say you know this again this has been a five month six month notification that he knows that there's issues and he hasn't gotten any contact I would say let's just send up the violation okay yeah. Because once we we've sent it, they've received it, then the town at least well, there's no can start and no right. effort or no attempt well, to effort. Well, that's the, exactly, and that's been the point in the past. The reason we we kind of held back on some people was because we would see some progress, right? Or we would at least get a response back that they were what the issues oh, were. But this whole list tonight, I mean. I think this is this is the way we do want to be consistent. Yeah. If you if you look at the timing of when things were sent and uh, what's happened to with this case and the one right above it, they're the same. Exactly. Yeah. You're exactly, exactly right. The same. And we, we agreed to send one on the one yeah. prior. Mm -hmm. So uh, I would I would I would I would make a motion that we send the violation. Mm -hmm. I'll second David's yeah. motion. All in favor? Uh, Aye. 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 All right. All right. Okay. Uh, briefly, there were I received a number of other uh, complaints about on addresses that they were investigated and found not uh, not warranting any any action. That just wasn't enough. Uh, Are those addresses on? So no, no, they're not. I didn't at this point didn't want to bring put together a file if there was. Not even a cause for. All right, so they're not, said, no, not no. even on the watch list. No. When you went to look at someone, were you able to see why the person issued the complaint, even though it wasn't didn't meet the standard? Uh, yes. No, a lot of them were valid to, well, most of them were valid. To an unsightly level, but not yeah, a really level of blight. Correct. Absolutely. And that's yeah. the problem. We can't, right. you know, it's got to meet that criteria. No, absolutely. Yes. And yeah, just and having an overrun, we've had people call because there, somebody's grass was this high. Okay. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. That was one, and I had that one yeah. and said the grass was, was over right three feet high, and I went there, and it was like this, yes. you know. Yeah, I know. Oh, my God. Three little Really three feet. <laughs> um, but, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm comfortable. I'm personally comfortable with how we're handling these now. Okay. Um, I think in the beginning we were trying not to be punitive and trying to work with people and be compassionate, and that's why we've given people time. Exactly. And there's no reason to stop, but just because they have a violation notice doesn't mean that we can't stop being compassionate. Right. No. Just that at this point now, the town process, kind of well, you have holds to move, the, you can move along. Can't just stay static forever. Of, so to speak, you know, if, if they want to use that terminology. But, yeah. Any other uh, questions or comments for Bob? I have a question. Well, what about um, 17004? <coughs> yes. Where it said this water is forgiven until a date, but that date's long past? Yes, yeah, it is. I've been in touch. The, the, the actual owners of the property have been in touch with me. See, that, that particular one is uh, the judge was very liberal with giving the people that were there amount of time to get out. And, but that one is progressing. They is are. Is a foreclosure situation? Yes. Uh, okay. yes. Well, they, there's already a new owner. Yes. But here's the thing. So they'd have to go through the eviction process, and all evictions, as you probably know, if we're, yeah. uh, we're on halt, we're so the right squatters, here until July. The squatters now, were the previous owners. Yes. Oh, but yes. they, so now in order to evict them, I think those have also been on hold, you right. know, whether it meets yeah, until August 25th, yeah. is my understanding. Yeah. Yeah. So okay. nothing right. can happen, really. Right. right? So uh, everything is still no, technically there, yeah. but there is, uh, there is, resolution is in the works. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, um, 
going forward on the agenda. So our action items really are the motions that we've taken. So uh, we will move forward with those. Mm -hmm. uh, any other new business? Uh, any other issues that people would like to bring up? I did mention that Holly Hawes is uh, going to have to come off the commission, mm -hmm. and uh, we're assured that we're going to get a replacement for her. Yeah, from so. the Human Services Commission. And I just publicly, I want to thank Holly because she's been with us since the very beginning on the on the Blake Review Board. Yeah, she's she been is. instrumental, and we're going to miss her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Uh, Celebrating my one year anniversary. Oh yeah, um, this is uh, this is Bob's one. <laughs> okay. And he's done a great job for us. Uh, can I have a uh, motion to adjourn? Yeah. 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 Yeah.